Name a better combo than Frankie fumbling women in Spy Family. Oh wait. That was honestly hilarious. So he ends up having to take care of Bess Borf, and what ends up happening is a woman very much is interested in him, saying, Oh, this is nice, I liked seeing you, hopefully I can see you again sometime, maybe we'll meet up. And this man is just so dumbfounded because he's thinking of, oh, I need a dog. I need to keep this dog because it's a chick magnet. Ignoring the fact that he could have easily went, hey, you know, I'd love to know which time you come to walk the dogs. Maybe we can walk them together. She clearly shot her shot. She was very interested in Uncle Frankie and he just forgets to get digits, forgets to ask anything. He just lets her walk and he's left up for fate to reunite them. And you know with this man's luck, it ain't gonna happen, but that's why we love Frankie. But great episode of Spy Family this week. This was a very good episode specifically for what happened with Yor. So I mentioned it last week that Yor was feeling like she wasn't as cut out for her job as she once was, which is kind of self-explanatory. I mean, she's more of a family woman now. And even if everyone's thinking it's fake at surface level, we the viewer know how real it is to them. And the idea that she is getting sloppier with how she does things, and there's plenty of moments last week, but even in this episode, it feels like she is losing her touch. She still wins the fight, she still is keeping her people safe, but even she is very conflicted. And I think the idea of her boss at multiple points, either last week or this week, throwing it in her face like, don't mess up, remember the secret knock, it's very much getting under her skin, and while I don't see it happening this season, we are approaching a story arc of her either having to try to escape this lifestyle, or that lifestyle is going to end up getting her or someone she cares for hurt because she is becoming more of a mother than she is a killer, and that's some really interesting characterization. Now, I do have a full live reaction to today's wonderful Spy Family episode over on my Patreon, so if you would like to see that, head on over there because they're supporting. Great episode. Definitely one of my personal favorites of this season. I think the action was great, the comedy with Anya, fantastic. But in general, it just felt like, in terms of focusing on the main three, it was the perfect blend of exciting, adrenaline-pumping scenes, but also family bonding. And I think when you look at Yor's fight, and the idea of this fight in general, it's a lot more challenging than many fights she's ever been in. Because we're in the middle of a bow, we have a man swinging around a chain that every which way it looks at you is going to cut an arm off, and we have to not only pretend that this is all according to plan, but most importantly, how do you defeat this man without it looking like, well, you're beating the living shit out of him? And if it wasn't for Anya, I don't know if she would have been able to do it, because she was really fumbling. She was stammering, she was like, oh my god, my daughter's in the audience, all these people, what do I do? And if it wasn't for Best Girl being like, circus, yes, circus, it all would have been game over. Anya is a kid. They treat Anya as a kid. She gets sleepy very early, she gets exhausted because she's a bundle of energy that's going a completely 24-7, but in the span of like six hours. She knocks out, she misunderstands things, she likes simple things like getting distracted by manga or any of that. But at the end of the day, without Anya, this family would have fallen apart a lot sooner. And there would be plenty of moments that I'm pretty sure would have been a lot worse. And I think the element of her being able to read minds and helping her mother, and most importantly, navigating dad away so he doesn't discover things too early. Sure, I think she overreacts in the way that, if he actually learned, I don't think it would be the exact reaction that she always imagines, but it's an understandable reaction nonetheless, and I think it's very interesting to see how they handled that fight, because ultimately, I feel like the thing that really drove her to just kind of become a wildebeest was the fact that he started talking in his head about how, like, maybe he should just kill everyone in the crowd, and I felt like she really understood that bloodlust, that her daughter was also going to be hurt, so she just completely went balls to the walls insane. And despite him looking like he's just knocked out, I'm pretty sure she killed him with those pressure points, but nonetheless, she did an amazing job. But I think honestly my favorite parts were pretty much Lloyd and Anya and what they did throughout the episode. You may not like it, but this is what the peak definition of hot is in the world of Spy Family. Lloyd dressed up, just ready to swim, go karaoke, I don't, I don't even know where else he's going. He's got a little bit of everything going on with that swag. But I love the idea that he's just trying to make her happy, and there's plenty of moments where Anya is throwing temper tantrums or feeling like she's upset. She will realize that, oh, I didn't mean to make him feel that way, so I'm trying to be nicer. But it's cute, like the idea of her throwing a temper tantrum because of mini golf, or just the fact that after the fight was all done, she just looks dead ass at like an empty room, she, but you can tell she's looking at Yor being like, maybe I should be on better behavior around mom. She's kind of scary. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. 
But the idea of the promise that they end up making over like daddy daughter dinner date here about how like we should invite her tomorrow so we can all be together because clearly this family means something to all of them and even if internally they say it's fake it's this or that and the third we all know this is a genuine family and it's good to have characters throw it in their face especially the woman that you're is protecting last episode oh, this is all just a fake family, but we also see that, you know, she very much can realize that Yor feels more than just it being a fake shield of a family. But it's interesting, because for Yor living an entire life of killing and just making that her life in a lot of ways, yeah, she had her brother, but at the same time, this wasn't supposed to be something other than just we're trying to, you know, protect each other sort of a thing. But she loves her family, she absolutely does. And like I said, I don't think it's going to be anytime soon, but we're seeing the crack show more and more and either someone's going to get hurt, someone's going to die because she's not completely in the game. Forgetting the knocks, forgetting to be extra careful. She's still talented and she's still getting the job done, but compared to her earlier stuff, it's very clear that she is missing the mark. She's misstepping from time to time and honestly, I don't know what's going to happen when she miss she really messes up if someone's going to get hurt. Like imagining Lloyd or Anya getting hurt because of a mess or a person she's trying to protect. You never know, right? It's not going to be something anytime soon, but we're seeing the cracks. And of course, the same cracks are going to pop up on the spy side as well. But right now, it feels like the assassin one is more of the obvious. And I don't know what's going to happen. I'm excited. It's going to be worrisome. There's going to be some drama when it does fully hit the fan. But it's very nice to see... The transition from a killer to a mother and how she's so conflicted on what it means because on one hand she would love to be the mother but it's all fake we know of course it's more than that but it's interesting to see what they're doing anya legitimately had some of the best faces i've seen from her this season it was just an absolute treat to watch the animation as quick as it was for the fight i think just it was a very creative fight it was different there honestly the only way you could have gone is saying it was a performance because otherwise there's going to be an emergency stop, there's going to be a big investigation because, you know, someone trying to kill people on a ship, I mean, I don't think that cruise is going to be continuing anytime soon. So it's very nice to see what they're able to accomplish, and I love the idea of even sprinkling in a little Frankie nonsense just for that extra little comedy that, do we need it? No, but uh, am I glad I got to witness it? Absolutely. Spy Family's great. I've been loving season two, I've loved every episode in some way, but I really like this Your arc. I can understand why a lot of people hyped it up to be one of the best Spy Family, if not the best Spy Family arcs for them, and uh, at this point, yeah, I'm completely agreeing 100%, especially given that the entire family's here, so it doesn't feel like anyone's being left out, but... Thoughts and feelings yourself down below, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here, of course ring that bell so you get notified when I upload more videos to the channel, and like I mentioned, we have that full live reaction over on my Patreon if you're interested, and hey, while you're there, you also get a video shout out. So today, we have Thrilled Access 709, Wesley Davis, Mr. Yawk, Lelouch CC, Proof Space, and SW Mogram. So I appreciate the support, everyone. Please take care and have a good one.